All right, my friends. So uh, yesterday, Final Cut Pro got an update. Yeah. So Final Cut Pro right now is currently running version 10.6. And one of the biggest things that it talked about, which was uh, an update, was uh, an object tracker. That was a big one. Um, as well as, of course, when Mac OS Monterey, Monterey comes out, you'll have uh, the ability to play around with cinematic mode uh, that's recorded with your iPhone 13. Uh, drag effects, titles, generators into the viewer to automatically detect, track, and match the movement of faces or objects using machine, machine learning. Uh, manually add a tracker from the inspector, adjust its mask, uh, use the tracking editor in the timeline to quickly delete or reanalyze, uh, attach additional tiles, generators, et cetera, et cetera. And of course, it says that uh, Max with Apple Silicon, of course, because they just talked about their new M1 uh, Pro and Max will have, uh, will be faster, right? So it'll be using the Apple Neural Engine. Now we're using this on my iMac, which is running an Intel i7. So we'll see how this works. Now, uh, I've got two videos here, two videos here currently with uh, no people in them, okay? So simply, this is kind of it. Now I have this one, I wanted to have something that had a bit of motion. So this one has a little pan from side to side. And all you're gonna do is place your uh, playhead any, anywhere on the clip really. And you're gonna find your text that you want. So I'm gonna just get a basic 3D text. And I'm gonna just drag it, but you're gonna drag it not here necessarily, but it's easier to drag it up here, right into the actual viewer. Cause then you can kind of say where you want it. And I'm just gonna say like, I'll put it, you'll see it actually kind of figures out these little objects. I'm just gonna drag it here. Good enough, okay. Now I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna track this little piece of, you'll see it right here, it's like a little st stone or some rocks on the ground because it seems like it's in all my shots. So of course this allows you to move the sizing point so I can get it kind of close where I want it. This would allow you to angle it if you can't get it quite the way you want it. And then this little dot allows you to curve it so you can again get it perfectly how you want it. So I can be like, that's good right there. Okay. Now what's cool about this too, is you'll see that my actual playhead is in the middle of the clip and I may decide that I want this to go all the way back or all the way forward. So I can tell it to analyze to the right or analyze to the left, or I can just say analyze it and you'll actually see it. It'll analyze to the right. And then we'll go back and analyze everything before it, which is kind of cool. So we'll just click on this and you'll see it jump forward. And it does the whole clip and now it goes and does backwards. And it's really fast in regards to a tracker and it is ridiculously accurate. So now I can take this if I wanted to and just kind of move that to fill this whole clip if I wanted. Bring it up to the front here, give it a little play. And there you go. That's that's got a nice, nice little track to it. So uh, that that actually worked pretty good. So let's come in here. Now this one's another one again with an object. Same idea. We'll just do a basic title, so not a three D one. Oops! Don't put it that way. Make sure you put it onto here. So make sure this is highlighted drag this up there, sure, wherever, right there. And we are going to get this to track. I'm gonna just, cause I think the only one that really is those two battery cells. So this is a good one that you can see like angle. So now, okay, we got that close, but I'm gonna spin that. So this covers those two a little nicer. Bring that down. That should fit good, I would think, cause we got that angle. And kind of curve it a little bit. I could, I don't know if you need to, but you could. And again, there it is. Let's do our analyze here. So picks that object up really good. And I like that it finds the object. It kind of figures out what it can use to track and it's tracked that perfectly. And it says I can track that all the 
way back. Yes. Yep, got it. So again, we could just bring this here. We won't even go all the way. And give this a nice little play. And you'll see that it attaches itself to that movement. Yeah, that's pretty handy. And again, like that's a 20 second clip that it actually went through and did that. Now, I also did this on my M1 MacBook Pro, and I think it did it faster, even with my just M1, you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm old school now. I don't have an M1 Pro or Mac, so old school. Um, so yeah, there you go. It does say you can do all kinds of effects or anything in here uh, that you want to kind of add to it. My guess is you'd be able to track, uh, well, pretty much kind of any kind of title or generator that's in this. My other hope would be, and I haven't played with it, but if we get a chance to work with this a bit more, I would hope that we could do some tracking with uh, like color correcting. But future video, if we can figure out how to do that. All right, guys, uh, Final Cut Pro 10.6. Looks like uh, the update came out yesterday and uh, tracking, that's a, that's a sweet feature for sure. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you there and I'm gonna play around a little bit more with this. Uh, we will have a updated video of this when uh, the new operating system comes out so we can try out how Final Cut Pro works with uh, the cinematic footage from the iPhone 13, as well as we'll do a video on how iMovie, because iMovie also updated and again, cinematic mode with uh, the new operating system that my guess would be coming out this week or next at the latest. All right, guys, that's it for today. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that little notification bell. If you know any tips and tricks with this, please leave them down below. Uh, if you have any questions also down there and, uh, that's it for me today. Later.